grade. So this week we are going to continue talking about Georgia O'Keeffe and her paintings and artwork of nature. And we're going to focus just on her flower paintings actually. And our artwork is going to be inspired by those flowers. But what she would do is paint these very large paintings of flowers. A lot of times they would be very close up versions of these flowers. And what she was trying to do was to get people to notice them and to see how intricate and detailed and beautiful they really were. A lot of times people just see flowers outside and walk right by, but this was kind of her idea in order to inspire people and to get them thinking about how beautiful these flowers actually were. So we are going to be making flower sculptures. So I do this project every year in second grade and we usually make these flower sculptures out of clay. But if you're like me, you might not have clay at home right now. But I do have ingredients to make something called salt dough. And salt dough is going to feel kind of like Play-Doh, but then you're able to bake it in the oven and then it hardens and you can kind of keep it forever. And if you don't have those ingredients, there are several alternative supplies you can use. If you have any other sort of modeling clay or even Play-Doh you could use. If you have none of those things, you can still find other materials to make a something that's three-dimensional sculpture. So I will also send you a link to a video for how to make a paper flower sculpture, which is also really fun. So if you don't have clay or the ingredients to make the salt dough, you can still do this project. Just brainstorm some different materials you can use to make a three-dimensional sculpture of a flower. So follow along with this to learn how to make salt dough, and I hope you guys have fun. So the things you will need for this are all-purpose flour, or you can also use gluten-free flour. If you look at the PowerPoint, the recipe for that is on there. Salt, and then warm water. So you're going to take equal parts of flour and salt, and mix those together first. So you can kind of measure it depending on how much dough you want to make. I don't need to make that much because I'm just going to make one project, so I'm going to use half a cup of flour, half a cup of salt. But if you wanted to make more, you could always do one cup of flour, one cup salt, or even two cups of each, but they just need to be equal parts, so. Since I did a half a cup flour, half a cup salt, I'm going to half take half of that, which would be a fourth, and do a fourth cup of water. So if you were doing a cup of flour, a cup of salt, half of that would be a half a cup. So you do a half a cup of warm water. And I'm going to mix that in. So I've mixed all of my ingredients together and this is what I've got. So if you wanted to make less of it or maybe you wanted to even make more of it, you can follow that same recipe but double it in size or you could even half it. But this is what it makes with half a cup of flour, half a cup of salt, and a fourth a cup of warm water. Just make sure you're doing equal parts of flour and salt and a half a part of the warm water. So I'm gonna actually take just about half of this off and set it to the side. I might use it to attach pieces on later, but this is what I'm going to use for my flower. So, you can make flowers a couple different ways. I will show you two ways, but then you can always experiment and come up with your own way to make flowers also. So I'm gonna take this chunk and I'm going to split it into five or six kind of equal chunks. Then I'm going to take those and I'm going to roll them into spheres and then flatten them. Alright, now that I have them all flattened, I'm going to kind of layer them one by one in a row we kind of overlap them on top of each other, kind of press down. Then I'm going to very carefully take one end and start to roll it. And I want to kind of put more pressure on the bottom part of it. So I'm gonna say this is the bottom, this is the top. Keep rolling until I get to the end. 
and then with the bottom I'm going to kind of smush that all together and when I look at the top then I have a flower shape with petals and I can kind of flare them out a little bit more. So that is one way to make a flower. Now I have extra clay I can take, or extra dough, I can take off pieces and form leaves and create a base for it to sit on if I wanted to. So that is one way to make a flower. So again, I'm only using half of my original amount, but I'm going to take this, create a circular shape with it, and to flatten it. And then I'm going to cut out the shape of a flower. So I'm just using a knitting needle, and I'm going to first kind of trace my design. And then go ahead and press through. And now I can add to the metal. I could add leaves off the sides. And there I have my other flower. 